I've been thrilled by the moonlight, the stars up in the sky. I've romanced on a June night, I never pass things by. Now I realize what I've been missing in this lover's paradise of bliss. And even though I've had my share of kissing, I've never felt like this. Ooh, honey, what you do to me? Every time you coo to me, it's ooh, so nice. Ooh, honey, when you dance with me, and you make romance with me, it's ooh, so nice. in this heart of me you kiss so delicious and when you love me oh honey what you do to me this is something new to me but ooh so nice ooh that kiss makes the world go wriggling while stars are jiggling You dream of fairies, then you hear canaries sing your favorite tune. You thrill something in this heart of me. You kiss so delicious, and when you love me, oh, honey, what you do to me, this is something new to me. song um, and it was recorded by Marion Harris I'm not sure if anyone else recorded it perhaps Helen Kane the boo boo be doo girl did I believe um, Marion if you look up her version Marion Harris and look up the title of the song Ooh, honey what you did do to me um, you'll find her version uh, my song sheets in the same key so you'll be able to play along with her uh, and there is a, a a little trickier chord in here and there one of them is an E flat and I know a lot of people do not like playing that type of a chord because it's a little trickier um, but I, the way I play it is I bar it at that first fret and then with my ring finger I get the bottom th the first three strings with the with the uh, meaty part of my finger so it's it's the top three strings excuse me so it's like a D only you're barring to get that bottom string so third fret like that The other chords that are a little bit different is I've got an A7, an A flat 7, and a G7. And uh, this is kind of weird because in order to get this chromatic walk down that kind of sounds cool and sounds jazzy like that, it's in this passage. It goes, You kiss so delicious, and when you love me, oh, it's right there. When you love me, now, the shape that we're using here is a G7 shape, but we're using our other three fingers. We're not going to use our pointer there. We're going to take our G7 shape, we're going to slide it up one fret and one more fret. So now we are at the third fret making a G7 shape, okay? But this won't sound right. You could probably cheat and make that work, but... But the way that you make the official chord is this pointer then has to be up on that top string. Um, so you're making a, let, let me do it right here. So for the G7 you pick it up, but you can walk it right down from the A sharp 7, down one to the A flat 7, 
down one more to the G7. And the second time I played it in a different position too. And that is, and it might be easier for you to play it this way, um, but it really sounds good down in, in this area. But if you were to make the F7 shape, which is, which is um, 4, 3, 1, 3, and you slide it up one, so here you got F7, F sharp 7, G7, G sharp 7, A7. So if you make that A, uh, F7 shape at the 5th fret, so it looks like this, if you can kind of see it, that's an A7. If you want to double check, play the A7, you know. So then, in that walk down, then we can go... Um, you taste so delicious, and when you love me, oh, honey, what you do to me. And I'm playing the D minor 7, which is barred at the 5th fret there. Back to the G7. And there's a D minor also that you can play up there. It's barred at the 5th fret. And you're going to make like an A minor shape and get this string right here, your 7th fret, 4th string. And I do it like this with my ring finger. So this whole passage that second time through is going to go. You kiss so delicious and when you love me, oh, honey, what you do to me, this is something new to me, so, ooh, so nice. But that first time that I went through was that G7 shape, and the trickiest part of this formation is teaching these three fingers to get into the game because usually they're not doing a whole lot of work. So we got to make, and I use my my middle finger for that first string, second, uh, yes, first string, second fret. Let's see, is that how I do it? Yeah. Then I use my ring finger for the third string, second fret, and my pinky for the first string, second fret. That's how I make that shape, and then slide it up, and then plant your index finger on that Fourth or uh, yeah, fourth string, second fret. That's an A sharp seven. Or excuse me, that's an A. That's an A seven, right there. And if you want to double check it, you can check it to this one or this one. So this is an A seven. Then we're going to go to the A flat seven, and you slide the whole works down one fret. And then for your G seven, you're going to pick this one up and slide it down one more. And then you got a C chord coming up, I think. Let me see. Yeah, C chord, and then a D minor 7. So have fun with the shapes. They're a little bit tricky, a couple of them are. Um, but I think you're going to have fun with it because this really brings out that whole jazz sound, doesn't it? <laughs> have fun. Check out the song sheet at eukesterbrown.com. And uh, have fun with it. Use it, the song sheet as a framework for fun as a jumping point, a starting point for your own um, investigation of this song. And check out Marion Harris's version of the song. You can play along and practice with her. Have fun with it.